Today we will discuss another family of hydrocarbons, alkene. When one of the carbon-carbon single bonds of alkene is replaced with a carbon-carbon double bond, a new family of hydrocarbon called alkene is of them. The simplest alkene, which is ethene, is one of the most versatile organic compounds in use. Ethene can be polymerized to make polyethene or polythene. Polyethene is commonly used to make polythene bottles, toys, plastic sheet, foam or plastic wrapper. Butadiene, which have two carbon-carbon double bond, can be used to make polybutadiene, which is a synthetic rubber that I use to make tire. 2.3 Analyzing Alkenes The learning outcomes are 1. Deduce the general formula of alkenes 2. Name the first 9 alkenes 3. Draw the structural formula for the first 9 straight chain of alkenes 4. Relate changes in physical property with increase in the number of carbon atoms per molecule of alkenes 5. Explain the effect on boiling point of alkenes due to the increase in the number of carbon atoms per molecules of alkenes and 6. Describe the chemical properties of alkenes Alkene is unsaturated hydrocarbon. Unsaturated because alkene contain at least one carbon-carbon double bond. The carbon-carbon double bond is the functional group of alkene. Functional group refer to the most reactive part of a compound. And the functional group is usually where the compound will react. And so the functional group determines the chemical properties of the organic compound. And hydrocarbon because alkene contain carbon and hydrogen only. Compound that belong to the alkene family or alkene homologous series have name ending with E and E. And the general formula of alkene is CN H to N, where the number of hydrogen atoms is double the number of carbon atoms. So you have two carbon, you'll have C2. H is double, so C two H four. For example, N equals to one will make C H two, and this compound does not exist because at least two carbon atoms are needed to form carbon carbon double bond. Naming alkenes. The naming of alkene follow the same rule used for naming of alkene, but with a few additional steps to indicate the presence and location of carbon-carbon double bond. So the root name refer to the longest carbon chain containing carbon-carbon double bond. So two carbon atom, the root name is add. Three carbon atom, the root name is prop. Four carbon atom, the root name is boot. And so on. All alkenes have name ending with E and E. So to determine the position of the carbon-carbon double bond, we can start numbering the carbon atoms. So carbon 1, carbon 2, and carbon 3. Or we can start from the back. This one is the carbon 1, carbon 2, and carbon 3. However, the first carbon atom is the carbon nearer to CC double bond. So the carbon is located between carbon 1 and carbon 2, and not between carbon 2 and carbon 3. Since carbon-carbon double bond located between carbon 1 and carbon 2, we can indicate the location as prop 1 in or prop 2 in. But the carbon-carbon double bond must be given the smaller number. So the name is prop 1 in and not prop 2 in. We will work on an example for naming alkene using the alkene molecule with the structure given here. Step 1. Identify the longest carbon chain containing carbon-carbon double bond. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the longest carbon chain is 6. And the root name, just like hexagon, the root name is hex. Step 2. 
identify the family name. With CC double bond functional group, the family name is alkene. So the name ending with in. Step three, we need to identify the position of the carbon-carbon double bond. When numbering the carbon atom, we will start with the carbon nearest to the CC double bond. So this is carbon number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now the carbon-carbon double bond is located between carbon one and carbon two and we will give the double bond the smaller number. So the position of carbon-carbon double bond is on carbon 1. The root name is hex and the ending in. So that the name of the alkene is hex dash 1 dash in. So hex one in. Next, we will discuss how to draw alkene step by step. In example one, propene C three H six. Step one: draw three carbon in a row. One, two, three. Step two. Join the first two carbon atoms with a double bond. Step 3. Join other carbon atoms with single bond. Step 4. Place single bond around each carbon atom with a maximum of 4 bonds for each carbon atom. 2, 3, Four, two, three, so four. One, two, three, four. Step five, add hydrogen atoms to each single bond. Now, let's count whether the number of carbon and hydrogen matches the molecular formula. So there are three carbon, C3, and one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six hydrogens. The important thing when drawing alkene or any organic compound, if we make sure there are four bonds around each carbon atoms, we can just draw the hydrogen. And when we count it later, it will definitely match the molecular formula. So we don't have to draw and count hydrogen at the same time. This table summarizes the name and the molecular formula for the first nine alkene. So two carbon atom, root name ETH, the name is ethene, and the formula is C2H4. The molecular formula of alkene is the easiest to construct because the general formula CN, H2N, indicate that the number of hydrogen atoms is double the number of carbon. So that if there are two carbon, C2, hydrogen is two times two, four. So C2, so H is four. C3, so H is six. C4, H is four times two, add. C5, H10, 6, 12, 7, 14, 8, 16, 9, 18, 10, 20. And for alkene with more than three carbon atoms, the position of the CC double bond must be indicated in the name. So starting from four carbon atoms, put one in, pen one in, and so on. The first three members of alkene is gas, which is ethene, propene, and butene. While the next six member is liquid. These are the structural formula of alkene. And we already discussed in detail on step-by-step step how to draw the structural formula of alkene. Next, we will discuss physical properties of alkene, which is very similar to the physical properties of alkene that we discussed before. So first, alkene have low melting point and boiling point because the molecules are held together by weak intermolecular forces. But as the number of carbon atoms per molecules of alkene increase, 
the melting point and boiling point of alkene molecules increases. This is because as the number of carbon atom increases, the size of molecule also increases. So the intermolecular force becomes stronger and more heat energy is needed to overcome the force. Two, alkene cannot conduct electricity because as a covalent compound that alkene only consists of molecules so there are no free moving ions to carry electrical charges. Three, alkene is less dense than water which means alkene will float on top of water. However, the density of alkene increases with increasing number of carbon atoms per molecule of alkene. And last but not least, alkene can dissolve in organic solvent but insoluble in water.